gliding through the skies to save humanity from dreaded saber and foreigner class enemies, mysterious heroine XX returns! She is an anti-berserker, foreigner, and saber specialist with legitimate boss-killing credentials, who even has potential Noble Phantasm looping ability. She is also a phenomenal counter against those deemed a threat to humanity. The charming, mysterious heroine XX is one of the strangest servants in Fate's Grand Order, with niches as scatterbrained as, well, herself. And yet, she pulls so many of them off marvelously. Let's look at what they are. Given that she is in the Foreigner class, this one isn't much of a surprise. Like her fellow Foreigner class servants, she deals double damage against Berserkers, while being part of the Soul class who also has defensive advantage over them, only taking half damage. Again, as part of being a foreigner, she has specialized damage against foreigners themselves. They are a class who do double damage against themselves. However... She is particularly adept at taking down foreigners, even amongst foreigners, as part of her anti-threat-to-humanity niche. This is a label that covers almost every foreigner in the game. This is granted through her third and final skill, Justice of World's End Rank A, which provides up to a 50% damage boost against such enemies for one turn. In addition to foreigners, this also gives her a significant damage boost against a significant set of enemies in each of the Lost Belts, though revealing their identities would be true spoilers. After all, she is still a mysterious heroine. This is, however, a rather niche specialty on her part, and certainly her least significant, given that it only applies to a single part of her kit. Namely, her Noble Phantasm. As can be seen, Mysterious Heroine XX is useful against a variety of enemies, but how does she do her damage? Mysterious Heroine XX does her greatest damage via her Noble Phantasm, Ether Space Yet Lawful an EX-ranked single-target Arts Noble Phantasm. This can do significant damage against Berserker, Foreigner, and Saber enemies. The latter due to the Noble Phantasm's inbuilt 150% damage bonus against the Saber class. Its general damage against all enemies is also significantly increased via its overcharge effect, which grants a one-turn attack buff of between 20 and 60% scaling with overcharge, that activates prior to the NP doing damage, and then continues to last for any attacks on that same turn. Furthermore, damage against foreigners and specific enemies, as previously noted, can be further buffed if this NP is combined with Justice of World's End. Doing so also applies the skill's second effect, a one-turn ignore invincibility, making the Noble Phantasm an even bigger threat, as it can now pierce both evade and invincibility. When it comes to this galactic officer, there is nowhere to hide. The damage of this NP can be yet further buffed through her first skill, Suit Up Rank X. This grants her a one-turn attack buff of up to 50%. In addition, it also grants her a one-turn invincibility, a solid form of protection. However, this can lead to a dilemma, as by using the attack buff, you also sacrifice her one form of protection and she can be rather frail. With her NP being central to her kit, she needs to be able to access it, and thankfully, she has excellent NP gain and a double arts deck, with good hit counts on all of her cards, helping to ensure she gets decent battery from them. 
Furthermore, she can improve on this by turning her hits, especially those of her arts cards, into critical hits. This is something she can somewhat help contribute to, albeit in a roundabout way. Via her second skill, Police Instincts Rank E. This is a decent star drop skill, however, it also reduces her own star weight. And the higher the skill is leveled, the more her star weight is reduced. So, at lower levels especially, or when accompanied by solid supports who can themselves generate stars, she becomes an even more dangerous damage dealer, and is able to generate NP battery even faster. However, without ample star generation, any potential side critical niche ends here. Of course, she also has a far more direct way. Her third skill, Justice of World's End, comes with up to a 30% NP battery. Because of her kit structure, she can pair her double arts deck with her arts noble phantasm to form potential arts brave chains, and this helps lay the foundation for potential looping. Capitalizing upon her solid NP gain and even moderate arts crit potential, she can be paired with excellent support servants that provide her a mixture of arts and NP gain buffs, or NP batteries, in addition to star generation for those aforementioned critical hits. This enables her to have solid looping potential. These very same supports can also significantly bolster her already solid damage through a mixture of, again, arts effectiveness buffs, along with attack and NP damage buffs. Furthermore, many of these supports indirectly help her with her NP gauge generation through arts chains. Many of them have arts-centric decks, and they merge together with Heroine XX's own double arts deck, allowing for easy facilitation of arts chains. While she is undoubtedly an odd servant, Mysterious Heroine XX is a low-key gem, and one who sadly doesn't come around all that often. She is currently available as part of the third pickup summon of the Servant Summer Festival 2020 rerun, along with 5-star BB and 4-star Saber Maeve, a review of whom you can find in the card above. Overall, Mysterious Heroine XX is a solid 4-star foreigner. Good luck to everyone rolling. <laughs> I've been Seen Dunes, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and check out my reviews of Jean Alter and Maeve, both of whom are fine servants in their own right. I've been Seen Dunes, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.